Jeffrey Epstein that a lot of people know what Diddy was about, and he, they were about the same thing, and that's why they're quiet. That's why J Lo and Ben Affleck. J Lo testified at the grand jury, as did many other people. It needs to be reopened because if that is in fact the case, she carried the gun in, and she lied to the grand jury. She was crying a lot. She was a mess. Probably what was going through her mind is her career flashing before her eyes. Hey Jennifer, do you have anything to say about those P. Diddy situation? Any comments on that, Jennifer? Okay. J-Lo is allegedly sweating bullets because the FBI might have found some wild videos of her during the raid of Diddy's house, and y'all know the kind of footage we're talking about. Not some harmless party footage. On top of that, there's a separate incident that could bring some real legal heat onto her, especially since back in the day, she allegedly lied to cover for Diddy in a major way. Ugh, meeting Diddy has to be J-Lo's greatest regret right now. Not even her four failed marriages and six engagements come close. There is so much to unpack here, y'all, so without any further ado, let's get right into it. You look in the ocean, you see two people floating. Oh, you can only pull up one because that's how much room you have on your raft. You look in the ocean, you see Ben Affleck, <laughs> <laughs> and you see Diddy. <laughs> that's it! <laughs> J to the L-O, give me five. Hello, I'm just Big Boy TV. Ben, She's serious. Me. You know I love you. She's coming on that rap no, by herself. It was a punchline. <laughs> she'll, she'll be floating in with to Bo like, hey, you won't believe what was in that ocean, baby. It you was know crazy. what I'm saying? Like, uh, then she gonna be at the services like this. I don't know. This All Jennifer Lopez had to do was marry a white boy, uh, you know, Oscar winner, for people to stop remembering that she had a gun in her pocketbook. She had gunshot residue on her hands the night that Natanya was was shot at that club. Not once has she spoken up for the betterment of that woman or say something in her defense to stop Puffy from gaslighting her and trying to put hits out on her because he was afraid that maybe one day they would open the case and she still has the bullet fragments in her face like J-Lo has said nothing. You, you really thought that just running off it was it was was gonna take you out of the, the Diddy downfall. First of all, we must all agree that just the fact that JLo was Diddy's girlfriend willingly is disturbing. There is no way in hot hell or high water that JLo would have ever dated Diddy if he wasn't at the top of his game back in the day. Wait until you hear the wild stuff that she had to put up with just to stay his woman. The things that she endured don't exactly match her polished perfect image, if she even had one back then. But anyways, who are we to judge? For those of you who didn't know, so JLo and Diddy were basically the it couple of the late 90s, like the biggest. Diddy was on top of the world, ruling the music industry, and J-Lo was right there to bag the most eligible bachelor, because at the time, she hadn't climbed to superstardom yet. It's through connections like dating Diddy that explains why she got to the top with no talent. But that's a story for another day. They're always dressed to impress. MTV couldn't get enough of them. Remember TRL? Anywhere they went, paparazzi followed. This was a different time. Everyone wanted to know what they were going to wear. Puffy's white party loved up. And everyone was like, OMG, they're so cute. Now, let's rewind a bit. Around the time that they were working on JLo's album on the 6th, she had just gotten out of her first marriage. So she was single and focused on her career, and let's just say that Diddy saw an opportunity. According to Diddy, it was love at first sight, but JLo, on the contrary, said she wasn't sold on his bad boy image at first, but as they spent more time together, she eventually started to fall for him. He was larger than life, but at first, I, I didn't like him at all. You know, I didn't. I thought he was like, you know, it. I didn't like him because, you know, I, Sean and I were very different that way. And then came award season. J-Lo and Diddy hit the BET scene together, making it official. The streets were shook. Jenny from the block with the ultimate bad boy. People loved it, but honestly, they had no idea how toxic it really was. 
Turns out, things were super messy behind the scenes, and yet everyone was talking about their glamorous relationship. The drama was too much, and at some point, JLo engaged in some activities that still haunt her to this very day, and she now straight up regrets the day that she linked up with him. Fast forward to a few years later, and JLo opens up to Vibe magazine about how messy it really got. Apparently, JLo cried more in that relationship than she ever has while cutting onions, and she was literally losing her mind, feeling like her whole life was spinning out of control. In an interview, she once said, it was the first time I was with someone who wasn't faithful. I was in this relationship with Puff where I was totally crazy, crying, and going nuts. It really took my whole life in a tailspin. Would you believe Diddy had J-Lo playing detective, constantly on high alert, trying to figure out what he was up to? She was literally hunting him down, always trying to piece together the puzzle of his shady moves. The interesting bit was that she never left, at least not soon enough and even hinted in that interview that she knew Diddy was stepping out on her, saying she could feel it but never caught him in the act. I never caught him, but I knew. He'd just say he was going to a club for a couple of hours and then never came back that night. You guys, one time this man literally cheated while she was upstairs at a party she threw for him. Let that sink in for a second. And while Jennifer was upstairs, he was down there getting a fellatio from her. Did she ever find out? She know now. J-Lo's doing the absolute most for Diddy, even cooking for him, and yet she got the bare minimum plus years of regret to have so much as ever known his name. There was a time when J-Lo shut down a club and threw a party for Diddy, and yet he cheated on her at the same party. Nothing new. We had just came from, uh, Jennifer had just gave him this hell of a day. I mean, like, we went to the Miami Hurricanes game. Was it? Yeah, we went to Miami State Hurricane. We was on the field while they were playing and stuff. He gave him a party at 321 in Miami. She rented a club, gave him a party, gave him this big backyard party dinner and everything like that. Then gave him a party at the club. When she finally broke things off, J-Lo said that she never wanted to be home alone with kids in 10 years, wondering where somebody was at 3 in the morning. And so come Valentine's Day 2001, J-Lo bolted out. Then December 1999, they go to a party in New York. There are pew-pews involved. They both get arrested. Later, J-Lo was off the hook. I vividly remember people were like, goodness gracious, poor J-Lo, she's with a bad boy, they should break up. But they didn't. They went to the Grammys together. She wore this Versace gown. Everyone lost their minds. They coordinated wearing matching white outfits at the MTV Video Music Awards. Then it came all crashing down. Valentine's Day 2001, they announced they broke up. Seven months later, she married Chris Judd. And then they divorced after nine months. Diddy and Kim Porter reconciled. Although, maybe they were seeing each other in between, and who knows who else he was seeing. However, this story is far from over. You see, J-Lo started seeing red flags even before they started dating. If anything, there were so many instances where she could have left, but she didn't. And for that reason, something happened that changed the course of their relationship, something that keeps haunting J-Lo till this very day. And the worst bit is that if the feds were to reopen this case, sure enough, J-Lo would be going down with Diddy. When When asked about this particular incident, J-Lo said it was a complete nightmare from beginning to end. In case you're wondering what happened, let's get right into it. So back in December 1999, something happened. J-Lo prefers to call it the infamous night in December 1999 when they both got arrested. For those of y'all who might not know, back in the day, J-Lo and Diddy were involved in a nightclub shooting. They were at a club when Diddy allegedly got into a serious altercation. Someone threw a wad of cash at him as a sign of disrespect and that's when Diddy allegedly lost it and pulled out a weapon and things escalated fast. Three people got hurt that night. Puffy and Shine allegedly got into an argument with another partier shortly before 3 a.m. Someone tossed a wad of cash at Combs as a sign of disrespect. Suddenly, all hell broke loose. 
And at some point, one of those people in that group fired off guns and other gunfire was had. It's one thing that JLo was there, but it's a whole different story when it was allegedly revealed that the weapon was in her purse and that she handed it over to Diddy. That's how JLo got roped into this mess and ended up getting arrested too. But of course, she got released pretty quickly while Diddy was left to deal with a ton of charges. And y'all, when this thing went to trial, it was a hot mess. He was larger than life. But at first, I, I didn't like him at all. You know, I didn't. I thought he was like, you know, ick. I didn't like him because, you know, I, Sean and I were very different that way. Why is the defensive? The simple question. It's hard. It requires so much trust. Natanya, one of the people injured in the club incident, has been saying for years that she saw Diddy pull the weapon. Not only that, but she claims J-Lo lied on the stand to protect him. According to Natanya, J-Lo didn't tell the whole truth and conveniently left out the part where Diddy allegedly forced her to carry the weapon into the club. In fact, gun residue was allegedly found on J-Lo's hands, and all these are still on record, even if someone else took the fall. And I think you even said it to, to the doctor that night, right? I said it immediately. I literally watched them pull out the guns. I've had a clear point of view. I mean, for God's sake, I got shot in my nose. I was facing them directly. I watched everything occur and have described it, you know, vehemently to all parties involved. Now, fast forward to today, and things are getting messy again. Rumor has it that the FBI stumbled upon some compromising tapes of J-Lo when they raided Diddy's house. These tapes allegedly show J-Lo in some very questionable situations, and though we do not know the full extent of what's on them, sources are saying it's enough to have J-Lo for weaking out. Ever since Diddy got arrested, some old, never-before-seen pictures of him and J-Lo in bed have been resurfacing online, sparking even more rumors about their relationship. Like, People are really starting to question what went on between them behind closed doors. Maybe they weren't just another Hollywood power couple, as we've now come to know that with Diddy, there is always something darker lurking in the shadows. And what makes people more mad is the fact that there's no way she did not know of Diddy's affairs. Not only did she cover for him, but she was also present in the environments where these things were likely happening. Remember when Suge Knight also dropped that bombshell where he strongly suggested the FBI had incriminating videos of J-Lo from Diddy's house? Once that information started going viral, people started hating on J-Lo, with many even saying they're happy Ben Affleck dodged that bullet when they divorced earlier this year. Let me tell you, 2024 has not been kind to Jenny from the block, and it seems like karma is catching up pretty fast. But then again, this resurfaced club incident is probably the wildest. It's super crazy to think that JLo's relationship with Diddy nearly 30 years ago could have had a hand in her recent breakup with Ben Affleck. Ben supposedly found out about what went down between JLo and Diddy and things got real rocky after that. I mean, it's always been considered the main reason why her marriage with Ben Affleck fell apart the first time, but the second time? Remember when they first broke up in January 2004 but were originally set to get married in September 2003. However, they postponed the wedding just days before, citing excessive media attention. Well, it turns out the so-called media attention was just J-Lo's tumultuous relationship with Diddy, especially the 1999 love incident. After that, J-Lo's image took a hit and the public was intrigued by her love life. So she moved on with Ben Affleck, this clean-cut Hollywood heartthrob, and people were like, wait, what? The contrast between her fiery relationship with Diddy and her whirlwind romance with Ben made the media go into overdrive. They followed her every move because they wanted to see how J-Lo went from being caught up in the club scandal with Diddy to painting a fairy tale wedding with Ben. But y'all already know how much Ben hates cameras, paparazzi, and all. It became too overwhelming for him, and that, coupled with several other reasons, the wedding was off and the break happened. Anyways, that was their first fallout. But word on the street now is that this whole Diddy issue has still haunted them even after reconnecting and getting married. The Diddy issue aside, it recently came out that J-Lo was done putting up with Ben's terrible attitude and severe mood swings. According to a close source to J-Lo, J-Lo felt like she had no choice but to move on from Ben because he wasn't going to change. It had also been reported that Ben was not a fan of J-Lo's attention-seeking personality and it became an issue in their relationship. 
relationship. Remember J.Lo and Ben Affleck's relationship was under the microscope ever since they got back together. Just the same way that they were the center of attention in the early 2000s. We all saw how J.Lo's personal life took a hit, her tour got canceled, and her recent documentary, This Is Me, now showed a side of her that left people raising their eyebrows. Fans saw a lot of arrogance in how she carried herself, and it didn't help that Diddy's mess kept creeping back into her life. The freakouts, the baby oil saga, Cassie's shocking allegations, and all that drama, it looks like J-Lo is getting burned right along with him. In addition, it was revealed that their marriage started hitting the rocks when J-Lo ramped up her work commitments ahead of her tour and that Ben was just not feeling all the public scrutiny that came with being Mr. J-Lo. For her upcoming album, J-Lo made most of the songs about her romance with Ben, but word on the street is that Ben wished she hadn't told the world about their business. In fact, J.Lo herself admitted that Ben wasn't too comfortable being the muse behind her music, but he was trying to support her in his own way. Y'all, it does not stop there. This is probably the craziest tea out there on these two. There have been rumors swirling that J.Lo was pushing Ben to change his entire look to fit some kind of image she had for him. Allegedly, she even encouraged him to get fillers to look younger, and when Ben wasn't really into the idea, J.Lo reportedly tried to justify it by saying all of his friends were doing it. Speaking of the divorce, J.Lo has been having a really rough time. In an interview with Nikki Glaser, J.Lo opened up about her life after her divorce, and y'all, it sounds rough. She described feeling lonely, scared, and desperate, but also talked about finding joy and happiness within herself. Anyways, it's been said that J.Lo could be in a tough spot because if there are allegedly recovered tapes of her at Diddy's and if they are as bad as people are saying, she might have some serious legal trouble coming her way. Remember, Diddy was acquitted of all charges from that night, but if the FBI is digging up more dirt and with J.Lo's past allegedly being full of lies to protect Diddy, it could all start unraveling. If the case is reopened, it seems like she's going to have to answer for the woman who got shot and the man who went to prison because of that nightclub incident in 1999. But all these doesn't mean that JLo has been seated, arm folded, waiting to sink. Of course, her PR team is probably working overtime right now to try and keep this quiet, but the truth has a funny way of coming out eventually. But Here's where it gets wild, y'all. One person who's actually relieved by how things are turning out is Natanya, one of the people injured in that infamous nightclub shooting. She is happy that justice is finally catching up to Diddy, but she's also showing some sympathy toward J.Lo. Natanya even said that she feels like J.Lo did what she had to do back then to protect herself from Diddy's wrath. Diddy's reputation hasn't exactly been squeaky clean, so we can't really blame her for wanting to survive in that toxic environment. So, was it the fillers, the attention-seeking, or the ghosts of Diddy's past creeping into their relationship? Honestly, at this point, it could be all of the above, plus a whole lot more. Drop your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think. Also, make sure to stay tuned because there is so much more tea to spill on this. You do not want to miss it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.